Pump tracks are a wonderful thing. They're great for just escaping on, mixing up your riding styles, or just escaping from the woods. But how do you ride these tarmac terrors? Well, fear not, because today we're going to be going through the basics of how to ride a pump track. Pump tracks have boomed in the last five years, popping up everywhere from trail centers to urban environments, much like the one we're on here in Bristol. And they can be made of anything from gravel surface to real nice smooth tarmacs like this one. And they're generally made up of a series of rollers and berms in an infinite loop, so you can just keep on riding forever and ever. Riding a pump track is a great place to hone in existing skills or learn new ones. And no matter what your ability, there is always something for everybody here. What's the best bike for pump track then? Well, it's the one you've got. You can literally ride any bike around a pump track, but there are some out there that are going to be slightly easier and make it a little bit more fun than others. For example, your road bike and commuter bike, they're probably not going to cut it. Trying to pump a big downhill bike around the track, well, that is going to be like trying to push a sofa around. BMXs and hardtails, where well, they're going to rule the roost at the pump track. They're probably going to be your best kind of bikes for the job in hand. But as we're all mountain bikers here, it's going to probably be you swaying towards that jump bike. Much like mine here, it's a little full sus slope style bike and it goes a treat. You basically want sort of the most rigid or the firmest bike you can have around a pump track. So that's going to generate the most speed and you're not going to lose all that momentum sort of bouncing and sagging around. There's two main skills that you need to learn to be able to ride a pump track successfully then. And yep, you guessed it, as the name suggests, the first one is pumping. Using your body and your bike to generate speed on the trail or track to be able to get around it faster and faster. On the track, then that's done by using these, these rollers, these bumps in the track and pushing and pulling, using my body and its weight up and over with my arms and legs to generate speed, carrying momentum constantly all the way around the track. Step one to pumping then, approach the roller standing up with your pedals level, looking up at the obstacle that's coming ahead. As you start to get towards the base of the roller, compress with your arms and legs into the bike, making sure you keep your butt back just behind the saddle. As you get to the face and as you start to go up that roller, you should still be in that squat position, absorbing the bump. But then once you get towards the top, as you crest over, you'll start to extend your arms and legs pushing down the backside. Make sure that head is still up and you're looking ahead though. Finally then, when it does start to flatten back out at the bottom of the roller, that's when you'll assume sort of that neutral riding position. You'll be standing back up on the bike with a slight bend in the legs and the knees. The next obstacle and subsequently the next essential skill to learn just happens to be corners as that's what you're going to link everything up with on a pump track. Now corners on this aren't like corners on your normal trail. They're generally man-made and much steeper so they react and they work differently and they hold you a lot better. You can see that the berm on this pump track here is pretty blooming high. It's really steep and most importantly it's tarmac so it's going to be really grippy and predictable. They're built like this so that once you get up to speed, you can really rail around them and you know that they're gonna hold you nice and firmly in place. Despite their daunting look, once you get the hang of them, they can really get you whizzing around the track. So I think without hanging around, we should get you guys whizzing out there. Come into the turn with your pedals level, crouched into the bike. Not quite as tucked up as you would be when you were pumping over a roller, but enough to keep you nice and planted and that body weight nice and central on the bike as well. Push into the middle of the turn so you force your body weight into the berm and you'll be crouched in and then as you come out you'll start to extend your body, your arms and your legs ready to pull out of the berm and really push into the rest of the turn and rest of the straight after. Once you've practiced and you've nailed cornering and pumping, well then you're well on your way to learning the very basics to be able to get around a pump track safely and properly. And once you've done those two skills, you can really start to link things together. Much like rollers into berms, in and out of multiple rollers in a row, there's no end to the possibilities. 
There you have it then. Those are the basics for riding a pump track for the first time. I hope you guys have learned lots of lessons. If you're going to get out on the pump track, let us know how you got on in the comments below. I'd love to hear how you did. But that's it from me. Keep your eyes peeled for those advanced pump track tips and I will catch you next time. I'm going to go hit some gaps on this lovely track here today.